Recently, the months of waiting finally came to an end, and Sledgehammer gave us an interesting little tidbit and a sneak peek of what we can end up expecting for Master Prestige rewards within Call of Duty World War II. Now, this was something that was really just received, I think, on both sides of the spectrum. I saw a lot of people really excited for it, but I also saw a lot of people not necessarily excited for it. But the one thing that I mentioned in a video talking about that and when we debuted it in that update video when we first initially talked about it, is that this doesn't look to be the exact end for these multiplayer rewards. It's only a sneak peek. So therefore, when we jumped into that live stream, some people kind of just took it as, well, that's all we're getting. That's only level 1000 is going to get that, and maybe I'll get a piece of that here and there as I progress. But to me, I don't see it that way. To me, I feel like this literally only served as a sneak peek. This is only one slight look behind the curtain of what Sledge has planned for MP rewards in Call of Duty World War II. And perhaps I'm incredibly wrong, but today I want to give you guys and break this down a little bit further so that maybe we can end up accurately anticipating what will be coming with the next title update for World War II and when we actually end up getting these Master Prestige rewards. So let's start with what we know, what we already have seen from Sledge, what they directly showed us. What you'll see on screen right now is a little bit of a 10 second preview of this brand new overall level 1000 gear set for World War II. This is something that the entire set is what you are able to fully unlock once you're level 1000. So that goes with the helmet, the camo, the uniform, that kind of stuff is all going to be a part of that. But the cool part about this in particular is that it's all progressive. It's all retroactive. So from point A to point B, point A being level 56 right when you hit Master Prestige, to point B being level 1000, along that road, you're going to end up unlocking some of these incrementally. So that's going to be something that maybe you get the, at rank 100, the gas mask, or at rank 200, the camo. So we don't know exactly the details of that just yet, but it's not like it's going to require you to rank up 945 times until you see that one reward that was showcased. Instead, it's spread out across the ranks so you have something of a smaller goal each individual time. And to me, I don't think that this is going to be the only thing. But for those of you guys that are interested in this, this will be available with the next title update. We don't exactly have an ETA on that just yet. Liberty Strike is just about to end or potentially depending on when this video goes live. I'm pre-recording this for a while I'm away, so it might be a little bit off in terms of when I think I'm going to get it up. But regardless, Liberty Strike has ended. And if at this point we haven't had a title update, well, then, of course, that's why you're seeing this. And so therefore, the next update will probably be with the next event we end up getting. As for when that will actually be, I have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine but it is something that's probably going to be seeing the next title update. So relatively soon, but nothing that's happened to end Liberty Strike just yet. So if I don't think this is the only thing we're going to be getting, let's talk about what I think we will be getting. Because previously I had a lot of different thoughts, which I still think would be absolutely awesome. I even made up some concept art and some free time of mine that I thought would be really cool. Some things being like an armory cache or like a prestige master unlock token where you could take any variants out of any weapon, whether it be DLC or standard release weapon and unlock any variant you want out of all of those. So that's something you get maybe every 50 to 100 levels. Other things like Master Prestige challenges and Major Howards. And so that kind of stuff would be all a lot of fun. But now having seen our first real glimpse at Master Prestige and what Sledgehammer has planned on the table for all of us, I don't know if that's actually going to be some stuff we end up seeing. Well, it'd be cool. It doesn't relatively fit into what we may end up seeing. Because what we may end up seeing follows perfectly in line with something we already have seen. For those of you guys that played Advanced Warfare Sledgehammer's first solo introduction into the Call of Duty franchise, Advanced Warfare ended up having 15 prestiges, which was, looking back at it, kind of a strange number, but then on top of that, they ended up adding in about halfway through the life cycle, another 15 prestiges to give us a grand total of 30 prestiges, and they called that the Master Prestiges. So you'd end up having Master Prestige 1 through 15, and of course, with all that comes the grind of doing the Master Prestige grind all over again, so twice over. Now, in order to actually reward players who embarked on that journey, there was a lot of different stuff that was given for each prestige, and would hopefully string along players with enticing them enough to keep going on from prestige to prestige until they finally hit Grand Master Prestige, which was essentially 30 prestiges in Advanced Warfare. So when we take a look at what we have given to us already and showcased from Sledgehammer, what we end up having is a very similar scenario to the Grand Master Prestige character and uniform set. So that's something that if you take a look at that, it was available 
available at Grandmaster Prestige, so doing everything and getting the very, very max rank you could, you'd end up having the Royalty Gear Set, which was essentially a variation of one of the rarest uniforms in the game as is, but with the purple Grandmaster Prestige Royalty camo on it. So there was the regular Royalty, which is a sort of gold plating and the same exact texturing, but the Grandmaster Prestige varied because it was purple and of course a lot more elusive and a lot more rare because of what you had to do to get there. And if you take a look at it, it's very similar to what we see within World War II now and what was teased off in that latest update for Sledge. So it looks like we already have part one of this previously introduced system from Advanced Warfare, so why not part two? Now part two doesn't actually require everybody to get to that max rank out of everything. So in this case for World War II, level 1000. Instead, it could probably be based on level increments, say 50 or 100 levels. But if you were to take a look back at that part two of the Grandmaster Prestige grind in Advanced Warfare, you ended up having the Master Prestige rewards for each Prestige 1 through 15, giving a specific weapon variance away just by simply entering that Prestige. So you ended up having the Master Prestige 1 being the Ball 27 Obsidian Steed, then the MP11 Goliath, the Moore's Silver Bullet, the TAC-19 Sledgehammer, the EM-1 Polar Vortex, the ARX Steel Bite, the AMR-9 Pro Pipe, the Ameli Whale Horn, the AE-4 Gigawatt, the IMR Thunder Tusk, the SN-6 Money, the ASM-1 Speakeasy, the Pytech Loophole, the HBRA-3 Bear Fist, and the ASM-1 Strider. Now, if you guys remember back to Advanced Warfare, a lot of the most well-known and sought-after variants were available via this Master Prestige system. So while we don't have anything in the way of, say, individual prestiges after 10th Prestige 55, and we just jump right into the Master Prestige grind starting with level 56, this could be a perfect way to see some of the most reserved and also interesting weapon variants in World War II. So in my first initial guess, take the Iron Curtain 2, for example, one that has been there for quite some time and everybody absolutely loves, but it's literally not released to anybody, maybe that's how we end up seeing this be implemented. It's something that is incremental every 50 to 100 levels. You get a weapon variance out of that, and so therefore it's exclusive for Master Prestiges in World War II. Personally, I think that'd be a cool way to do it. The only thing is that it's not going to be an exact copy and paste of the situation that we see within Advanced Warfare to World War II, simply because there are 15 different weapons for the Master Prestige system. You'd end up needing, I believe, 21 if you end up doing it every 50 levels, one granted automatically once you hit that 50 six and master prestige once you initially jump into those higher ranks so i guess in that sense it's a 44 slash 45 and then every 50 you end up seeing you get a weapon variant so that's something that could work out absolutely perfectly and like we've talked about here on the channel numerous times there's so many different cool variants that we either already have or do not have available to the public that could work out perfectly for this so in my mind i think that this is probably the next big thing coming with those master prestige rewards and why i'm so reserved on holding any judgment because that sneak peek was literally only one sneak peek. What sort of sneak peek gives away absolutely everything other than a poorly done movie trailer? So if the sole intent and the promo for this was just to simply give a little tidbit of information on Master Prestiges, I'm not going to take this as being the only thing we're going to be getting. But regardless, we are going to be getting Master Prestige rewards. I'm excited to see what they are, but I definitely think that now having seen this, I'm pretty much going to throw out any ideas that I had previously as potential that may come. And since we've already seen this kind of happen almost identically to Advanced Warfare's Master Prestige system, to me it just makes sense that we'd end up seeing some sort of weapon progression unlock as well alongside this Master Prestige uniform set. So that's going to be something we can look out for here in the next upcoming days to weeks. Again, we don't know exactly when, but stick around here on the channel because we'll be keeping you guys up to date with all things regarding any of that. So that said, I want to give you guys my thoughts here on this kind of maybe diffuse the situation a little bit because again I saw some people really jump into some extreme conclusions and I saw some people just accepting this was the only thing and still being cool with it but I want to let you guys know that this is probably not the end of it but I want to get your thoughts and feedback though with all that considered so that said let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below is there anything in particular that you think we should add on to this system do you think that we will be getting this weapon unlock tiered sort of system that we saw with advanced warfare tethered alongside this uniform do you think we'll be getting even 
more stuff on top of that, or do you think that we're only going to be getting that royalty set in terms of the uniform and camo? Whatever it may be, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Right now, there is no right or wrong answer, but I wanted to have a little discussion here with this because, again, I think it's pretty important to get all information considered before jumping to a conclusion. But that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding Call of Duty World War II content, anything in relation to Master Prestige rewards, updates, best class setups, tips, tricks, news, information, all that good stuff we got you covered here up on the channel. So if any of that interests you, make sure the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. Practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to check up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. And also, if you guys want to follow me over on Instagram, I'm out traveling now, so you might actually see a bunch of pictures from me there. So if you guys want to follow on that front as well, feel free to. That link is also in the description below. But all that's it out of the way. Hope you guys had a fantastic day. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.